The BBC has lied. I am the Twelfth Doctor. I have been tagged in the TARDIS tag by the Book Jazz. Yes. And I am sort of a Doctor Who fan. You, you, Sonic. I can't get this to work unless I hold down the button. It sucks. Got a cheap version. Um, I love Doctor Who. Everyone who knows me knows this. And Star Trek and Star Wars. And Warcraft and all sorts of stuff. I love science fiction, apparently, um, which I was thinking of this. I don't really cover science fiction too much in my book, so I'll have to get to that. Um, so, so this is the TARDIS tag. Uh, I basically hijacked the, the TARDIS. Um, if you do not know Doctor Who, this part might be boring, but if you do, let's be friends. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to take our TARDIS on an adventure, um, an adventure through time and space, time and relative dimension and space, if you want to be precise. Um, so I'm going to pick the book according to the destination that I land the TARDIS in, because it's mine now. Iris, Idaris, you're mine, whatever your name is. <sighs> destination number one, you travel back in time. What historic novel or book from an earlier period will you choose to travel to and why? Is this crooked? No, not crooked. I'm having, I'm having bow tie issues. Bow ties are cool. I'm choosing Lauren Willig's The Secret History of the Pink Carnation. Uh, this is a whole series, sort of the historic -y romance. Uh, Amanda Quick, they're more, they're more, they're not really, I mean, there's romance, but sort of like the Nora Roberts. There's romance, but it's secondary to the story. It's the kind I like. Um, so this one is 1803. Feisty Amy Balcourt will do anything to join the cause of her hero, the Purple Gentian, and his fellow spies, who once tried to save her father from French revolutionaries. But first, she must find the mysterious Purple Gentian without getting sidetracked by the advances of Lord Richard Selwick, a dashing yet dubious man who by all appearances has defected to the enemy. What? So this is whole series. Um, I have some that are in paperback, cause, and then some were hardback, and then some are the large paperback. Nothing matches, but that's okay. They're good. These are some of those books. The second I get them, I just gobble them up. I hope you can hear me. This street I live on is so busy and loud today. It's like every idiot has decided to like rev his engine right in front of my window. Why? Why? Destination 2! Um, I'm going to travel to a medieval time. What fantasy novel will you visit? I don't know if this counts or not. I don't really have medieval books other than like Canterbury Tales. This isn't, this isn't, I have Guinevere. It's not in there I really like. Like art, history, or book-wise. I don't really have much. But this, I guess, counts as fantasy. I don't know. Stardust. Neil Gaiman. Does it? Does it count? It's counting. I think. I, I like that book. I think, I think the world would have been cool to have seen. It seemed really interesting, and why not? This is, this is my TARDIS. We're gonna go there anyway. Take that, medieval. Destination 3! I'm going to travel through space. Duh, I have a TARDIS. I have to go through space. Anyway, I have to choose a sci-fi novel to visit. This is really god. This is so hard because I love, love sci-fi books. So I had to figure, you know, what world do I love the most of all my fictional sci-fi worlds. So, I chose Darth Bane, Rule of Two, Star Wars. Um, God, I loved this trilogy so much. I've read it a couple times. But I also like the Legacy series, so that's kind of tricky too, because the Legacy is really good. Uh, but I like the idea of this. I like the Old Republic with Star Wars. But I also like, like where it's, the canon sort of currently is also. So, that was a tough one, but I love... I think Bane's my, Darth Bane's my favorite. I love the Sith. Let's just put that out there. So it's like I'm the Doctor, but I like the Sith. This would be a really weird episode if it was real. 
She wants to save everyone after she's killed them all with her Sith power. Anyway. So, yeah, I love Darth Bane. I think he was so cool. And, um, he basically, the first three chapters, I think, is like him gaining his power and then eliminating all the Sith. Why not? Back to the rule of two. Plus, I want to see the worlds they were on. That would be awesome. Rule of two. It's time to return home, but the TARDIS side slips into an alternate universe. What dystopian novel would I land in and try to set right? Hmm. I was sort of torn because I, you know, it's Hunger Games, but I like Divergent better than Hunger Games. Cinder was cool. Didn't like Scarlet, so that doesn't make me want to visit that world. I'm only like halfway through Scarlet. I cannot get into it. So, I'm going to choose the selection because... I, I, I hope the second one doesn't ruin it. So the selection is similar in concept to Hunger Games and Divergent Insurgent where society has broken down and it's sort of divided numerically, I guess? So each of these quadrants choose a lady of their town to go to the king's palace and try to win the hand of the prince. So it's Bachelor, basically, and of course she's deviant. We have to have the deviant main female character. Why not? Um, I know the second one's out. I have not bought it yet since I'm on the book buying freeze. It's on my list. It's on my wish list. Um, but I actually really did enjoy this. This was a one sit down read also. It was cute. Why not? Why not? Destination 5. The TARDIS slips into another alternate universe filled with children. What middle grade book would you travel to and why? I'm really not good at this area. Just don't read middle grade. I read young adult, but the middle grade is just a little too far back for me. I don't know. I've read a couple okay ones. So I'm rolling with an oldie but a goodie, and this is the um, Missy at Chincoteague by... Marguerite Henry, I can't find Misty, but this is, these are the books after it, and they're just cute, and it's at the beach, and it would be fun to live there and have the wild ponies everywhere. Yay! That's my middle grade. That's, that's the best I can do on that one, sorry. Take that, Santarin. Destination 6. Jack it off. Because it's too hot. It's wool. Uh, so the TARDIS finally returns you to your university land on Earth in the present time. What contemporary novel would you travel to and why? This was actually a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be because I love so many of the current worlds that I've been reading about. But I'm going to go with Sarah Addison Allen because I talk a lot about her and I think it would be really nice to see that world. Um, these are the magical realism ones. There are a couple of them. Peach, Keeper, Sugar Queen, and Garden Spells. And this one, The Girl Who Chased the Moon. And you sort of, sort of learn about other people in the, that town. <laughs> you want to travel too? She wants to travel too. Yay! Let's go to the TARDIS! Yay! The Girl Who Chased the Moon, is, there's a couple of them, Garden Spells, Sugar Queen, and the Peach Keeper, and you sort of see snippets of these people, um, different townspeople in these books. So you sort of learn about everyone indirectly. Um, I like the idea of the town. It sort of sounds like Stars Hollow from Gilmore Girls. That sounds fun. So I'd like to see this world. So it's like ours, but not quite. But it's contemporary. Um, there's a lot. That was a hard one. Because I was like, ooh, I want to go there. Ooh, but I want to go there. But I can't. So I went with that one. So I am going to tag Frenchie D for sure. And then I will put the rest in the link below. And if you aren't tagged, just answer this one if you want it. If, if you too are a fellow Whovian. Alright guys, have a great night. Bye. Ah, is my bow tie crooked?
Throw ties crooked. God damn. It's falling apart. I'm falling apart. I'm regenerating. Watch out. Am I going to have to do all that again? Yeah. I think I am. <laughs>